all right ladies and gents i'm gonna show you guys the new set along with jang ling with this new weapon guys this is the new four star craftable weapon right here and it looks absolutely incredible all right so let me just show you guys some of my stats he, she is level 80 right now not ascended and her attack is at 1366 with elemental master being at 462 um, most of my elemental mastery is obviously coming from the spear itself, which is 101 elemental mastery, and we do get this nice passive for it. So, increase elemental skill damage by 6%. After elemental skill hits an opponent, the character loses 3 energy, but regenerates 3 energy every 2 seconds for the next 6 seconds. So this effect can only occur once every 10 seconds, but it can be triggered off field. So if you have Goba, it will pretty much proc all the time even if she's not on the field. So I got the new set going on and fair warning, this new set will not go well with Zhang Ling's, uh, well with this weapon because it's a little counterintuitive because you would want a weapon with energy recharge. You'd want to have the most energy recharge if you want to make the most out of this set. But because I only have this set build, I don't really have a pyro set built for her or anyone really, I can't really use that set. So we're gonna have to be a little bit copium and use this set only. She's currently constellation three as well, which means my pyro nato is gonna have three more levels and she's going to deal 75% of Zhang's attack as AoE pyro damage. Um, as well as pyro resistant reduce from go she's only uh six and seven for her talents in general um even though she is my main dps she only has a level one and unfortunate there all right so we're just gonna get straight into the testing and uh let me show you guys some of the details here she's almost at 70 percent crit rate with 117 percent crit damage her energy recharge is only at 135 percent with pyro damage bonus being at 46.6 percent we're gonna be running a child a kazaha and a zhang Ling. And we might use Bennett to try and buff. Obviously, this Bennett doesn't have a lot of attack power. So she'd only be getting 70% of 535. Alright, so we're gonna beat up our good old friend, the Cryer Reg is fine. Alright, gonna fall down here real quick. And we're gonna use Gova here. Gova's gonna be real nice. And I'm gonna use Kaza to increase our elemental damage here. And there we go. We can also see some nice numbers. 18k right there from the Vaporize. Uh, crit as well and yeah <laughs> it's uh it's really good <laughs> and i kind of want to try bennett a little bit so we can just get a little bit more attack bonus on our jangling all right we're going for round two and this time i'm gonna be using bennett burst right, we're just gonna do this we're gonna increase our uh, pyro attack bonus do this go on and 25k <laughs> oh my god oh my god 36 percent more elemental damage bonus so yeah it's pretty insane the power that it has and after the whole burst you guys can see i already have some more energy left uh, obviously if i love grova in there one more time i would have another like more energy but yeah, this weapon is pretty freaking good. Especially if you don't have like a lot of spears. For me, I have no spears. No spears at all. The spear I used to have was the Crescent Pike and only give me physical damage bonus. As well as just uh, this little elemental or particle, you know, increase. But yeah, it's, uh, it was, I mean, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. But yeah, if you don't have Dragon's Bane, this weapon is incredible. It's going to do a lot of damage for your team. 25k to any cryo opponents uh, with melt, of course. Uh, I did try to vaporize, but even though if you can use either one, it would do the same amount of damage, which is just a 68.9% increase through the element of mastery alone. So let me show you guys the artifacts that I used. I used this artifact, which has a pretty good amount of crit rate and energy recharge. Man, this one also has, you know, some elemental mastery on it mostly, which is pretty, pretty good. But um, if I could get some energy recharge on that, it'd be pretty much better. Um, some attack percentage was well, all crit right here and one roll on attack. Uh, if you go here, the pyro damage, this went all into crit. It was incredible. It was cool. And this crit rate one, it rolled once into HP and once into elemental mastery. The reds went to crit damage, which pretty good. Overall... 
my jangling looks pretty stacked i definitely definitely recommend you guys get this weapon but as i said before if you guys are gonna roll with this weapon please do not use the emblem of the severed fate set yes it would be nice to have some sort of bonus but you're not gonna have a lot of energy recharge because your weapon um you know it's not the it's not the one you want to use so if you are free to play you might want to consider using the prototype crescent which gives you energy recharge which will be good for the set but all right i mean that's pretty much it i hope you guys did enjoy if you did because you're liking the video subscribe to the channel see you guys in the next video very soon goodbye